Which one? Nice. Oh, what? Nice. I wish we could somehow get every match yeah. on stream. I wish. So. I could see them later. Alright, uh, this is Tomcat. Oh, and Mangos. Or commentating uh, Swiss Round 3 between Zeno and Trevor. Alright, this is exciting. Mario vs. Captain Falcon, but from what I was hearing, Trevor's Mario is pretty good. Yeah, he, um... And currently, the... Zeno's just getting dominated. Yeah, I was gonna say, and he's... He put right. out Mario in his doubles match, and he was beating me and Shy, or me and Shy were winning. We beat them in doubles last week when they weren't playing Mario. I mean, as soon as he pulled out Mario, they started winning every game, so. Yeah. <laughs> Currently, uh, he was in a bit of a disadvantage, and definitely at a disadvantage right now. Well, I, I think this is a matchup that's very heavily in Mario's favor, personally. Um, I, don't, I don't really know the matchups, but. Uh, I just based on what these characters are good at and what they're bad at, I think this is a Mario matchup. Specifically because um, Captain Falcon isn't a zoning character, he doesn't want to keep characters out. And so Mario doesn't have too much trouble getting in on them, and when Mario's in on someone, he starts a combo really hard. Yeah. And Captain Falcon doesn't have any combo breakers. So. I was in for like. What? And then, and then like Mario. Well, Captain Falcon does have more like raw KO power than Mario. I think that Mario isn't lacking in any means either. As we just yeah, saw that like, smash. smash it, so smash I think that overall this matchup favors Mario probably. Yeah, because Mario has um, pretty good projectiles. So yeah. And with that gust cape, he has a safe way to sort of try to gimp that up E that Captain Falcon does. A lot of oh, other characters sure. have to worry about getting grabbed, but I think he can space out space Also, it. make sure his recovery is safe, it's just what he did right there. Exactly. Then this. So that's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of characters can get out of that better, but Captain Falcon is a fast faller and with no combo breaking moves. He just has to suffer through all those up tilts and all that yeah. Mario stuff that happens. Uh, I would not have hit, but very close. Yeah, so um, this game's looking pretty... Uh, well, Mario's Definitely. actually getting pretty high on his last on his first stock here. Yeah. But he's given himself a big lead if Zito manages to take this stock. Yeah, he has. Oh, wow, that shield is getting so low! I knew that was coming! Oh, man! <laughs> Dang! They say that the sign of a lunatic is someone who keeps doing the same thing, expecting different results, and... Uh, <laughs> True, and just let his shield get eaten by those down smashes over and over again. <laughs> that was kind of fun. I just have to, that was kind of fun. Yeah. At least there's a bathroom right here with no big tunnels. Alright, but uh, Shiro did give himself a really big lead, and Zeno's working hard to try to catch up. Yeah. But, but um, it's at the point now where the that. The upper four smash would kill him. Yeah, exactly. So Zeno has to watch out for that. Yeah, Zeno's got to play uh, careful, which I don't know if that's Zeno's style, really. Yeah, he isn't really known for it, but uh, against G-Man, he, he did, so pretty well. Zeno's style is like a combo of aggro and silly. Yeah. And Zeno is trying to play it safe, like, wow. as we can obviously tell right now. There we go, he's got that jab, catching Mario as he lands. Oh! Uh, he was going for the up tilt, and if that had connected, if he had started a little earlier, that maybe could have spiked Mario out of that. Yeah, probably could have. Maybe a kill? It would have been a kill, I'm pretty sure. Mario had already used uh, up his jump at that this... point. That's... It's getting to the point where that would be a kill at the, at the edge of the yeah, stage. Yeah, wow, Zeno's just... This percentage is... There we go. Oh, wow, and he catches the roll up with an up smash. Um, one thing that we always know about Zeno is that he is really good at living really long. Yeah. He just somehow has crazy DI. Yeah. <laughs> but also his few problems are, uh, sometimes he just is really predictable, such as when getting up on the ledge because the wall is red. And for the, for the majority of his game he's going aggro, so you know what's going so you probably know what's going to happen to you so you can possibly prepare for it all right and this is going to be a really interesting match we're going into next true over um, true going villager versus yeah uh Zeno's villager is pretty fun to see, and one thing that's interesting about Truro, or about villager is that he's probably the ultimate zoning character in the game. I think the only character that could maybe give him a run for his money is Duck Hunt, but I don't think Duck Hunt even comes that close. Yeah. And Captain Falcon, on the other hand, is like one of the ultimate zone breakers. Yeah. But if uh, villager starts to ledge camp, that should be difficult. Yeah, but um, Truro is, it turns out, a really, really nice person. And, and he doesn't like to play with villagers' customs that much. Yeah. 
so um, we aren't going to be seeing that really stupid like um, uh, trip tree right at the edge and exploding balloon ledge camping going on. And Chura is doing some pretty interesting setup combos. Yeah. Um, Lloyd to grab. Uh, Lloyd to grab. Yeah, Lloyd to grab is a, is really cool. You get oh, <laughs> good thing Zeno got that shield up. You yeah. get to um run inside the Lloyd's hitbox, so the Lloyd just covers you while you do whatever the heck else uh, Billiger wants to do. Oh. And there we go, the back air slingshot. Yeah. Um, the slingshot actually has more damage and more knockback the closer it is to when where it uh, the closer the enemy is to the slingshot at the time it's fired. And Xeno was pretty close there, so that was uh, was it me or did it look like Villager was just kinda of sliding around? <laughs> I, I missed it if it was happening. Uh, because I kinda of swore he was just moving back and forth without moving his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's his perfect pivot. Oh, that's getting dangerous. I mean uh, Zeno doesn't have that much damage on him yet, but the villager's back throw is a kill throw. Well, and he's second, getting high in rage right now. For a now. second there, Zeno, I thought Zeno ran right into a tree. Yeah, me too. Crowding in, but prepared it did not come out. Yeah, it didn't agree. Oh, we get another shield break. Second one in two matches, and the Falcon punch <laughs> really. <laughs> At least Zeno could take one thing, and he broke Chura's shield twice. Yeah, he, uh, Chura got a little reckless with his shield on this set. Huh, that was a cool the tree. up tilt to dash. Apparently the tree. Wow, that's <laughs> an interesting way the tree works on this stage, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me there. Okay, that was just, that's just kind of fun. Oh, I'm just going to be down here. Yeah, I know. It's like, I don't want to be on the top. Forget sunlight. And this time it stays on the top. What the heck? What's going on with this thing? Ooh, ooh, that was... Um, Zeno missed the chance for a good punish there. Yeah. Oh, that grab was so clutch. Maybe Zeno can bring this back? I don't entirely know. Um, yeah, he just gotta get in. He needs to stop letting that happen. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Almost. Got that light photo really just in time. Interesting. Jump backwards into Lloyd. Yeah. Sounds All right, we're gonna see that tree grow right now. Oh, oh. For finish. Getting Zeno back for that shield pop falcon punch. <laughs> Good game to both players. Yeah, although Zeno did deserve that tree to the face. <laughs> no, I didn't want to stand up. 